caught a vibe Baby, are you coming for the ride? I just want to look into your eyes I just want to stay for the night Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Amara and I am a yoga teacher and soul coach based in Dubai. And this week we are actually moving through quite businessy stuff. Um, so if you're maybe a yoga teacher and you're interested in yoga business, or if you're just a freelancer, or if you're just interested in what a work week looks like, there's quite a bit of worky bits and businessy bits going on in this vlog um, and a lot of change that's come through so I thought I would take you guys along with me because it's been an awfully long time my last few uploads have been yoga classes which is exciting kind of part of the change as well but exciting um, and a few sit down videos so I'm happy to be here a little bit more relaxed taking you with me through my week in the life um, for those of you that don't know I live in Dubai I'm now moving into my second year here living in Dubai and yeah, things are growing and changing and that is a good thing. There's an adjustment period, but it is a good thing. So yeah, let's get into this. Hello guys. So I know I said this is gonna be a yoga business vlog, but I have actually just got a delivery from Ala Yoga and I feel like I like sharing it, but also you guys like seeing it. Uh, and I'm actually really excited. It's not a big order at all. I think I mentioned in quite a few vlogs recently how I've kind of been just honing in on my colors. I recently did the um, color essence thing as well that's all over TikTok and I'm a soft autumn so I was like right well I need to make sure I fill my entire wardrobe with things that go with I guess my color palette. So it's just a continuation of what I've been doing like cleaning out my wardrobe, getting rid of things I don't wear. But yes, Ala Yoga had some really beautiful colors that fit this sort of new aesthetic of not just my personal style, but because I'm self-employed and my business is yoga and also kind of me, I guess my business style as well. Um, so yeah, maybe I can put them down as a business cost. I'm not really sure it works like that. Um, but yes, let me show them to you. I'll also be wearing them this week because I'm that like child who gets so excited about new things that she can't wait to wear them. I'm literally putting one on now, but I wanted to show you them nice and like clean before I put them on. So the thing I got was, I think this is the limestone color, but I got the airlift leggings and a lovely little top. I honestly didn't get much, but I also got this little top and I'm regretting basically the leggings in this color were sold out and I'm regretting not buying them when they first came out because this color is like the most beautiful nudie pink and it's so like understated and this top is actually really soft as well but i haven't worn it so i'm not going to say anything till i wear it and then i also brought these aloe soft leggings which i've been eyeing up oh my gosh my teddy's there ignore um i've been eyeing up for like almost a year and i actually bought them to go with this top now as you can see actually they look like they go a little bit more on camera but in person it's not perfect match this top said it was gray but I guess it's more of a nudie gray but it's fine I think I decided I loved these before they even arrived so they're staying but yeah we'll see if that outfit works but these were originally bought to match those because the ones on this is from a Dubai brand called Amada I love that brand it's probably one of my faves at the moment but the leggings they had that went with this top had stirrups on them and I think that's kind of weird I'm not into the stirrups yet um it reminds me of my horse riding days so it's just not the fact wit I think it's all gonna stay out I love it all and I'm really only buying things that I think I'm gonna love so it's far less rare for me to return things nowadays so yeah I have been working this morning I now need to I'm now going for lunch so I'm gonna get changed so I'm currently in very chill clothes I need to um get changed to something a little bit more presentable and then we are going to a place called Time Out Market for lunch. Um, I'm actually seeing two friends that I haven't seen in ages and um, that one of them lives in downtown too. So it's super easy to do like a lunchtime meetup and it's two steps from my house. So it's literally like a lunch break and then I can come back and finish off because as I said, it's a very busy working week, but a good busy, which is nice. Um, I feel like I have so many things to update you guys on, but we will do that. Let me get changed and get going. Hello guys, it is now a little bit later on Monday and I have been spending the afternoon, I guess, 
relaunching my online yoga membership, which is one of the big sort of, I guess, worky bits that I needed to do this week. Um, for anyone who's not new here, you may remember that my online yoga membership was all around creating flows inspired by the moon, which I have loved so much. I truly, truly have. Um, but after a year, I have created a flow for every single new and full moon and they are all saved and up on the library. And when I really sat in meditation and tuned into my guidance, it felt like a time for growth and evolution and to shift. And so that is where this new membership, Soul Shala, has been, I guess, created. Um, and I'm so, so excited about it. So my membership now still has all of the classes that was there before, but it's just grown and expanded. So I share two new classes monthly, but on top of that, I also do monthly soul sessions, which are sitting down and talking through yoga philosophy and talking about how to live a more soul aligned life and things like this. And oh, I'm just so excited about it. Um, it also means now that I can have a space to share my sound healing, which I'm really passionate about, and more meditation sessions, as well as like the odd like yoga skill video, like how to do a chaturanga or how to do a headstand. I didn't really have a space for that before. So very, very, very excited about that. So that has all... The members have been told. I just need to share it on social media. So the plan is... This evening I have a yin class and then I actually had a last minute private book in, which is super unusual, <laughs> never normally happens. Um, but she's now booked in for just before my 8 p.m. yin. So the plan is that I will post a few bits on my way to the studio because cars in the mechanic. So I'm in a taxi, so I've got a little bit of time back there, which is kind of nice. And yeah, then from there, I think after I, do, well, always after I teach my 8pm class, it is straight to bed and chilled. But yeah, that is the plan for the evening. Um, I think I have five minutes to show you the new and improved membership. I'm just so excited about it. I feel like it's a lot more elevated and a little bit more mature and so excited. So here it is. This is... Soul Shala, and I am so excited about it. Um, and you can see here that all of our flows are still there, and there are so many of them. Um, there's almost 70 now. I can scroll, honestly, scroll forever, and they just keep coming up. But yeah, this is, I really wanted it to feel like a welcome home for your soul and a soft place to land. And I feel like it's got that vibe to it, which I'm very, very excited about. It is time to get all my stuff together. Oh wow, I am super orange. Give it a minute to sort itself out. There I am. Um, yeah, get all my stuff together and get going back to the studio this evening. So let's go. <laughs>
lucky Wednesday. I am just out on an afternoon walk. It is rather hot. We still got to buy summer heat, but I was feeling the need to, I haven't run a walk in ages, so it was kind of needed and I was out at a cafe anyway. But I think this is the first time I've checked in with you today. So yes, I taught my classes this morning and then I've just been working at a cafe. Um, I had my second kind of, not big announcement, but my second sort of big worky thing this week was finally announcing that I am opening slots for soul coaching, which honestly has been in the process since the beginning of the year. Um, I've just been wanting it to be really perfect and I think I got a little bit carried away with the perfectionism, which is why it took me so long. But finally taking clients for that, which is very, very exciting. Um, so I feel a lot lighter having just, literally just announced it and put it all up on my page and feeling a lot lighter. I'm actually um, enjoying Virgo season. So if anyone is watching this sort of around the time that it's been posted, it, ha it is Virgo season. Uh, almost the end of, of August, shifting into September. And I actually, if you'd asked me if I liked Virgo season, I probably would have said no, but now that every time we come to Virgo season, it's like I get a shift of action, I get my life sorted, my to-do lists are on point, and I just feel like a very organized girl, and I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, loving the Virgo season vibes. For those of you that don't know, Virgo is very much around like cleaning things up, organizing, having a plan, um, taking very grounded action as well. But I must say, I do feel like there's quite a soft energy to Virgo. I think it's because my boyfriend's a Virgo and he is just the best and exactly what I need. So whenever Virgo season comes around, I need all of the Virgo energy. So I'm really enjoying them and I feel like they really ground me so I can take steps forward, which is nice. So lots of steps forward being taken. Um, love the Virgo new moon, which is in a few days. Maybe we'll still be vlogging at that point, but yes. The plan for the afternoon is I have got a coaching session with my business coach this afternoon and then I've got a soul coaching session for one of my clients this evening. This is the last trial client. It's her last session, which is why I'm ready to open sessions for new clients and official clients now. But yes, nice afternoon. Um, I had a lovely morning at the studio this morning. I also made huge progress with my pincher practice, which is just everything. So excited. I think I will have, if I haven't put the clip in already, I'll put it in now, but I'm sure I will have put it in already. I'm also wearing, gosh, you don't want to be sideways. <laughs> I'm wearing um, my new aloe top and I love it. It's so comfy. I think the color is really pretty. I am wearing it with my Hatchet Active leggings, which I think, um, I mentioned in a few vlogs ago, it's a Dubai brand, but I love them so much. They're completely sustainable. So yeah, loving my outfit today, feeling good. I'm just taking a break from my walk because it's so hot, but I think it's time to get a move on and get home so I can be showered and ready for an evening of me being coached, of coaching others. So let's get going. Hello guys, happy Friday. I am off to teach my Friday evening yin and sound healing. I feel like this is the most dreamy Friday evening for the people in the class, but I guess also for me as well. Um, but yeah, I actually haven't come and chatted to you guys that much today. As you can see, I'm back in my car. My car was in for repairs. So it's nice to be back in my car. I'm not rushing sort of from and to the studio as much, but What's sort of really been sinking in this week, and I don't think I mentioned it earlier in the vlog, is just like how much change I'm moving through at the moment. So 
I'm now currently living like on my own in Dubai, which my lovely gorgeous boyfriend is at work in the UK, so I'm here alone and it has been a real adjustment process personally. Um, obviously it's given me more time to dive into work, which is great and that is my real focus, but not only has it been lots of changes going on personally, but also in terms of worky bits there's been changes. So as you will have seen this week, I've been channeling a lot of energy into what I'm doing online. I'm also being more consistent here on YouTube. I think Monday's the new upload day. I'm saying that now, so we're sticking to it. But yeah, there's been a lot of changes happening and I'll be honest, I'm not the best at navigating change. And you'd think as a yoga teacher, I'd be able to ride the waves a bit super easily, but it's, I mean, as yoga teachers, none of us are perfect, but also it's something that I don't particularly enjoy. And I've been really sitting with how uncomfortable it feels and, what really came through around that was change is meant to feel uncomfortable. And when I sort of sat with that and was like, yeah, change is meant to feel uncomfortable because if it's not uncomfortable, it's not challenging you, right? And if we're not being challenged, we're not growing. So yeah, change is meant to be uncomfortable. That is kind of the point. And really tuning into the fact that it's not this life of no discomfort that I'm aiming for but in general we should be aiming for because a life without feeling uncomfortable just isn't real but I guess it's being able to navigate those times of discomfort with ease and grace and following your intuition and all of those fun yogi vibes um, but yeah I just wanted to share that on here in case there's anyone else that's going through a bit of a change period I feel like a lot of us are I don't know if it's just me if it's if it you are as well comment below but definitely feeling that moving through a change period which feels super weird um to say the least so yes right nattering away let's make our way to evening classes and then tomorrow is the virgo new moon so i think i'm gonna have a lovely evening um just chilling cleaning the house, having a very Virgo new moon day. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that, and maybe end the vlog there. But yeah, let's get going. Let's go teach some classes. Let's go get all yin and chilled for the weekend. That being said, the yin class that I'm teaching tonight, I posted on Soul Shadow today. So if you wanna do Friday evenings then with me and you are somewhere else in the world, not here, I have posted this class, a slightly shorter version, but I have posted it on Soul Shadow, which will be, it's my online membership, my new one, and it's in the link in my bio as well. So let's get going. here I have had a really 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 slow um, just like I guess life admin day going and doing the food shop cleaning the house all of those lovely things and then it's now seven o'clock and I am very happily getting into bed and watching a film honestly there's nothing more nourishing for me than an early night and like I just love spending time in bed I do maybe that makes me really lazy but I feel like this is the place where I recharge the most <laughs> I did actually spend some time earlier though considering my budget and really tuning into sort of the practicality that I want to pull into everyday life which I guess is quite fair go and I may spend some time journaling in bed this evening other than that, I think that is everything for this vlog. I feel like we've been on a real journey of just moving through change and change is really weird. And especially when it comes to like worky stuff, it can feel quite weird as well. And as always, I'm still really new to sort of my job as a freelancer. So navigating these like seasons and things like that can be really 
interesting but I do love every moment of it as always if you have any questions if you enjoyed please pop a comment below or follow me on Instagram and DM me there at Amara Thompson if you want to flow with me online there are so many opportunities to but otherwise I am sending you so 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 much love thank you so much for coming along with this week with me there are going to be more vlogs coming but if you do have any requests for videos please pop them in the comments below otherwise i will see you very soon